Hey, all right, uh, we should be back on board now. Give us a thumbs up in the crowd if we're uh, back on board. No thumbs up. Ladies and gentlemen, Tim and Debbie Edhouse with a 59.694 there. Uh, give us a thumbs up if we're back on the air out in the crowd there. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that slight delay. Hopefully you can see the big screen now because there's not really much point having a big screen if we hide it. But uh, anyway, it's now back into the view of hopefully most of you guys. And uh, unfortunately, we can't move it again because the truck is now bogged. But that's all right. We don't need to worry about that. As long as the boats can get to the ramp, that is the most important thing. We are now going out of limits racing with Craig Shaw. I'll try to catch up with you on the times that we saw. We did see Chris Rasmussen spit it out. This boat just sounding absolutely terrible. Really not hooking up at all. Stuart White doing the navigational duties here. So uh, Craig Shaw there picked up a little bit of weed and uh, off the start line that has now cleared itself and he's decided to uh, not take the rerun because when you do get weed into the jet unit you can put your hand up and ask for a rerun and the race control will actually give you that opportunity. So Craig Shaw on the split with a 45.887. Now Outer Limits just making their final run towards the line and a, a 1 minute 2 seconds 0.769, 102.769. So they make their way back to the spin-out pool. The boat got a lot of weed into the jet unit off the start line. Craig Shaw could have put his hand up and asked for a rerun, decided just to uh, run the boat. You certainly won't see that type of thing happening when it comes finals time. But, uh, in these early qualifiers, uh, people just getting that rotation sorted out, making sure the boat is handling okay. And uh, this looks like the Beaver Reliever. Carl Beaver, the man from Waikato, Jay Amon, the administrator also from Waikato, the Jet Speed Hull KB Engineering on board here. Oh, nice through the hairpin there. Nice and tight into that apex, just utilise all of the available water due to Carl Beaver. Oh, he's gone the right. 
long way. In front of Commentary Tower, he needed to take the first channel. Realises what he's done right off the pace now. Coming back around to redress the problem. Now he's back on a race course bomb, so that'll add plenty to the time. Did a full extra lap in there. So now heading towards the finish line, across the line there, and we'll get back to you with the time there for Carl Beaver. A one minute, 12 seconds, 0.587. So the uh, incorrect rotation in there has added plenty of time to that clock. Bevan Shuler now coming out for his qualifying round number two. In the Group B category. So uh, just waiting for our timing just to uh, reset after uh, to come up onto my screen just here to give you some information on the boats that uh, were out on track while we uh, shut down commentary there. Grant Gibson doing the navigational duties here. Oh, gee, I tell you, that looked a bit ugly coming into that hairpin. I thought that he was going to uh, come in a little bit too tight. It is just a matter of millimetres between getting that right and completely and utterly wrong. Now into the speed part of the track, up into the big sweeper that tightens up at the back there, just like a nut. We call it the nut. That right left hand combination through there, Bevan Shuler getting through there quite nicely. Certainly not at full race speed at the moment, but uh, they will certainly be getting it up there as the qualifying rounds progress. Bevan Shuler there with a 60.710. Hayden Wilson uh, coming out now, Angela Watson, the pair from Wanganui, White Noise, Hayden Wilson, the project manager, uh, has a comeback uh, from a last season and looking really good out in his first opening run, has got a lot of experience behind the wheel of this particular vessel, took a season off and I think it did really well for him, just that ability just to sort of take the stress of racing out. A lot of work goes into the preparation of these boats, getting them from each of the rounds right around this great country. So Hayden Wilson in white and noise at the moment. The first split was a 27, which is pretty good. Certainly not squeezing the absolute life out of it at the moment, just nice and smooth. Second split at a 42.862. Nice, fast, flowing rotation, really only two very tricky bits in the middle of this course. And Hayden Wilson across the line there with a 58.956. Just still waiting for the uh, computer just to reboot here to be able to give you some uh, times from earlier in our Group B category. We've got our computer technicians here working on it. Oh, here we go. Uh, Fortitude Racing with a uh, 1 minute 11.78. The Flounder Pounder, a 105.84. Cruz Raz Musson we saw parked up on the bank. Something came off the back of that boat. Well, wasn't quite sure what it was. 
That uh, will certainly check that out. Liquid Addiction was a 59.69. That's in the Group B. The last two boats in the Unlimited category was uh, Nick Berryman with a 54.13. And uh, where did, uh, there we go, Baden Gray with a 54.91. So uh, we're just catching up with all of that. Once we uh, disconnect some of this stuff up here, it takes a little while for the uh, people who operate the computers to get it going again. And it's Kelly Manell now out on track with Cherie Patterson in the Girl Talk machine. Engine Rebuilders 0800 My Engine. Tim Patterson in Wanganui, of course, looking after that. Looks after a lot of engines here as jet sprinting in New Zealand. So. Uh, Kelly Manel, uh, Shrek, her husband, who will be joining me in commentary in a little while. Uh, he will certainly be providing plenty of advice to his wife. And, uh, well, they're number three in NZ, so uh, they'll be looking forward to something big this season. Kelly Manel traditionally just sort of goes about it nice and easy, just winds up the week as the day goes on. So Kelly Manel and Sheree Patterson there with a uh, 63.786, 103.786. Hey, uh, if the live streaming camera work doesn't go too well, Leighton Shrek Manel, who's the butcher, the baker and the candlestick maker here at the moment, he's the co-commentator, he's the president at the moment, he's the truck mover and currently working on the camera work while Grunter is just sorting out a couple of the computer systems. But it is now Buttercup. Daniel Reed, Jasmine Webster, oh, they've gone the wrong way. Uh, Buttercup was really worried in that first run out the steering was not working well. Brand new package, no time to test it. So uh, he would have been worried about the steering. So he needs to turn right now. He's just doing big, big laps out there at the moment and uh, certainly getting plenty of opportunity for sponsorship out there. Egmont Industrial Supply, Q Transport, McClutchy Contracting, NZ Lives Up. Oh, Buttercup finally on the rotation proper now. Some 36 seconds into this lap and he's got the rotation sorted out now. This hairpin, will the steering be right? Oh, geez, he rubbed it up. The starboard quarter onto the tyres out of that left-hander. Not a huge upset of the boat, though. As we said, it is a brand new package. Daniel Reed going to have to come to terms with this one. So that at least the rotation is sorted out. He's going to be uh, some 40 seconds plus off the time that he'd like to be at. So NZ Livestock, Simon Payne, Horizon Insurance, Sue Webster. So uh, plenty of sponsors on board from the man from the Naki region. Now just opening it up. The boat is called Third Time Lucky. And he's, oh gee, he ran a little bit wide through there. And that's a, a time, plenty of time. I don't even know, we'll worry about that one. It's a 92.76, so it's a one minute 32.76. I'll tell you what, that was certainly a Sunday afternoon cruise there. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm thinking about that. Uh, Leighton's just uh, popping in from time to time after he's just relinquished the camera duties. Now, look, Leighton, if you're going to be uh, trying to pipe in, do you want the microphone or you just you don't want to get too carried away too early, mate? No, you'll be right. I don't want to get on the mic too early, mate. We've uh, got to pull those one-liners out for a bit later on. But hey, if you're enjoying yourself out there in the sun, it's only going to get hotter, as is the racing, so watch it. Hopefully you can see that big screen now, people. So uh, we've been working hard here 
to make things happen. So uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy. It's only going to get better from here. Yeah, shit hot and shiny, you're late in Manel there. So uh, we'll be talking a lot more with Shrek throughout the course of the day. Fortitude Racing coming out now, and this will round out qualifying round number two for the Group B category. It is Bryce Barron, Caleb Barron doing the navigation duties for Farmers and Cardenden. Uh, in their uh, opening run, they went the wrong way. Oh, and he's a, there's a big hesitation there. And uh, Bryce managed to be pretty quick and get on top of that quick, quite quickly. So uh, they have gone the wrong rotation. Need to come back down here. Turn left. No, you've missed the uh, channel. You wanted the B down. So the rookie's having a little bit of trouble with the rotation. And uh, we... Ladies and gentlemen, all looking from an elevated position, having seen quite a number of runs already this morning, do get that opportunity to see it from the great advantage point. Very difficult when you are at water level with limited neck movement because of all of the safety equipment, neck braces and uh, helmets and uh, all of the seatbelt configuration as well. So. Uh, very, very difficult, particularly for rookies, to work this out, trying to understand the rotation. Oh, another hesitation. So they are completely bamboozled at the moment and have decided to uh, err on the side of caution, take it back to the trailer, have a look at the map, see if they can get uh, Siri and the GPS working. Uh, mind you, the GPS doesn't work in these boats at all. The... Uh, they just don't work quick enough. So now we are moving into the Group A category for qualifying round number two. Hey, don't forget there's plenty of food around, uh, plenty of liquid, and uh, make sure you don't get dehydrated. We don't want to see people dehydrated.